What's up, everybody? Gavin Jonquil here in Atlanta. I uh, want to get this video up about this 770 I told you guys about. Um, today is Monday. Uh, we actually got done with some yards a little early, so got an opportunity to get this together, explain to you guys what to do on these 770s when they ain't running right. Um, Again, if you've watched my other video with the SRM 225s or any of the 225 series uh, string trimmers, anything like that, uh, I told you how to adjust the carbs. People say they're not adjustable. Uh, the 770s are same. They are adjustable. They are set very lean from the factory for admissions, uh, that type of thing. Uh, if you guys feel uncomfortable about any of this, uh, I work on all my own equipment, but if you feel uncomfortable, just take it to your Echo dealer. They'll take care of it. Um, but a lot of times you guys will get a blower, or it's happened to me, I mean it'll be three, four, five months old and the thing just starts bogging down, you can't, can't get it to run right, you can't get it to run at half choke, anything like that. So um, it needs adjusting, uh, these can be adjusted, uh, you need the tool to do it. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today, we're going to do a little step by step on how to find and adjust these cards. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so this is the adjustment on a 770, Echo 770 T or H model. Uh, difference between T and H is just going to be the handle, whether it's a hip throttle or a trigger throttle. So um, I would advise if you are having problems with these units and RPMs, uh, I would start with the most basic things. Things. Don't overthink it. Check the air filter, fuel filter, spark plug, all that stuff. Okay, this filter, psh, brand spanking, no problems with it. Spark plug up top under the flap, check that out. You may be having problems with it, may be damaged, I don't know. Um, depending on the conditions of uh, where you're working, check the fuel filter. Uh, how to get the fuel filter out, if you've got just a coat hanger, you could stick a coat hanger down in there. All right, put a little hook on there, tight hook, throw that down in there fish out the line, pull out the uh, fuel filter, take a look at it, examine it. You could buy fuel filters for cheap, so it's always a good idea if you if, if it looks dirty, you think it's dirty, then it's probably dirty. Just go ahead and change it, it's an easy fix. Um, just to eliminate that issue of maybe why your unit is not running very well. So, again, if you guys don't feel comfortable working on your own equipment, just take it to an Echo dealer. They'll take care of you. They know how to use work on these units. Um, just my Echo dealer personally is about 45 minutes away, 40 minutes each way. So uh, I've got a ton of Echo equipment as you guys have seen in other videos. So I just work on my own stuff. It's easier that way. So let's get started. So on this unit, you're going to need this tool. It's called a Walbro carb tool or adjustment tool. Okay, there's two of them. You need the Walbro Long D, which is gonna be this one, okay? And then you also need the Walbro Large D. The difference is just the size. The Long D is longer and it's got a very tiny tip where the Large D is shorter, but it's much bigger. Let's see if I can pull this off. You can see the difference here between the two. See the difference between the two? That's how small that is, that's how large that is. All right? This is crazy, but you don't even need this. The kit, kit that came, it came together. And this is both for an Echo and Shindala units. So it's the long D tool is what you need. Uh, it's just a single D on the tip. And you can see here, I've actually broke it just the other day. So I was kind of totally peed off because these things aren't cheap at all. So I had to go get another one, which I found online, luckily. So let's get started with the unit itself. So there's two jets. There's gonna be a low jet, which is gonna be inside your air cover. All right, air cover's here. Take that unit off. Right inside your air cover, it's probably chalked up with a bunch of carbon. I blew this out before we started this, but that's gonna be it right there, okay? That's your low jet, you kind of see the D on the on the brass fitting there for this tool. So that's your low, so that'll set your idle. Um, rev it up, rev it down. You don't want this thing running like it is, you know, like on a low setting. 
it needs to idle. Um, this unit will actually shake pretty well when it's on an idle. Um, that's why they have the, the suspension back here on the unit as you're wearing it. Uh, but that's going to be your low setting. Your high setting, get this out of the way here. Your high setting is going to be in the back. Okay, you've got your choke, your primer bulb. You've got two pieces right here. All right, one here and one here. This is a bolt, and this is what you're looking for. Inside there, let me see if I can point it out. Put it right there in the circle. All right, inside, inside that, you see that small little... It's a single D up against the carburetor there. That's what you're looking for, okay? You're looking to put this right in, and figure this out, right there. Okay, you wanna put that in there just like that. It's right into the carb. That's your high jet. So that will adjust the RPMs up and down. I will tell you, if this unit is bogging, okay? If this unit is bogging, don't focus on the low, focus on the high. Because a lot of times it just takes maybe a little more than a quarter turn, maybe a half turn. Um, clockwise, I believe, uh, gets the mix, get that RPM up, and you'll be right back in business. Uh, these things are set very lean from the factory, so it just needs minor adjusting. So uh, I'm gonna try running it. See if you can hear the difference on video. I don't know if you will, but we're gonna try. Again, you wanna start the unit, uh, put it on wide open, put it on a wide, wide open throttle. I will, I'll tune it down so you can kinda of hear it struggling, and then I'll turn it and crank it back up, and we'll see if you can tell the difference. So that's it. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell the difference and the noise over the recording or not. I don't know. Um, I'll put it on there. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But that's it. Any questions, comments, y'all check them out. Again, start with the easiest stuff first. If it's bogging down, go with the fuel filters, air filter, that type of thing. Change those out. Just eliminate those. If not, you got to get that tool online. I showed you guys what you're looking for online. If you can find it, order it. That's what you need. Uh, you need the long one, not the large one, just the skinny long one. It's a, it's dude, it's like a freaking tip of a pen. Um, it's very small. But good luck. Questions, comments, leave them. If y'all ain't subscribed, get subscribed. I really want to try to get to 1,000 subscribers. I, I was hoping I was going to have it by now, but maybe not. Maybe this will push me over the top. So y'all check it out. Good luck. Till next time, be good. I'm out.